This is how we, um, let me delete that so we can start all over again. This is how you make your own ringtone for um, Verizon or T-Mobile on your computer. Send it to your phone. That way you're not paying a dollar to three dollars for ringtones. You can do it yourself. Works better if you have a messaging plan so you're not charged for the um, message that you get from your email because uh, it'll count as a picture message and that some carriers charge like 25 cents a message for that whereas uh, like with my plan we have free messaging period so I can send a million of them to my phone and never have to pay for it anyhow this is how you do it first of all you need to start off with a song and let me show you that um, first let's open Windows Movie Maker I keep it on my desktop you, you'll, you'll have it somewhere in your start menu probably but um, Vista and um, Vista and XP both have them. So now we want to go over here to the left side, import audio or music. Okay. Now, first of all, let me show you what happens if you try to import a legally purchased song. Let's go to Hysteria. Let's try Love Bites. And WMA is protected using digital rights management and cannot be imported. So I bought that music from them and they won't let me do what I want with it. So I've decided that I won't buy any more music from anybody. I'll just find it on the internet and download it for myself. And um, anyhow, um, I use LimeWire and I use YouTube. And in my next tutorial I'll show you how to use YouTube to get yourself an MP3. Okay, so let's find us a song. I'm an ACDC fan, so let's get something from ACDC. Let's try it off Highway to Hell. Um, Girls Got Rhythm. Importing the file. Alright, there it is, right there. So, um, what you do is right click on it, add to timeline. There it is down here. At the timeline, right? Alright, let's, let's find the chorus. <laughs> Cut it right there. Now you want to keep it at about 20 seconds. Um, I know with T-Mobile it needs to be 20 seconds. With Verizon it can be 30, but we're going to keep it at 20. Make sure we got the chorus in there. Point six three seconds. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, maybe I didn't explain all that right. So now when I get to the nineteen point three seconds, now we did this at the beginning too, to cut off the front of the song. When you you make sure that the song's highlighted, it is. When we get back to the nineteen point three, see this button right here. This is the cut button. Cut. See it cuts it. You can either remove this one or remove this one. We want to right click it and click on cut and here's our ringtone make sure it's all the way against the left wall here and it is so now we're going to go to save to my computer first screen that comes up is girls got rhythm ringtone there you go go down here to next hit next again it's saving it boom Alright, click finish. It'll play it to make sure it's right. There it is. There's our ringtone. Okay, now I have everything saved to my desktop so it's easier to find. And um, here it is right here. WMA, Girls Got Rhythm Ringtone. Now, the issue here is is that most phones will play MP3, not WMA. So what I've got for that, and I got this off download.com. Go to download.com, click on video converters, or actually type in MM Convert, and um, this will come up. And click 
on free to try or free not free to try free and this mm convert is actually awesome i've been using it for a couple years and i love it. it it does everything i need it to do anyways you click over here on the left side to convert to mp3 right there remember you get the mm convert off download.com and okay so now you click on add and this is on my desktop girls got rhythm ringtone highlight it open it voila this is going to convert it to an mp3 I've already clicked it now click down here OK it's ready to go hit execute there it goes it's turning it into an mp3 it's completed successfully go ahead and close this out and here it is girls got rhythm mp3 so let's delete the WMA alright now here's the mp3 now I'm going to open up my internet I have to kind of slow lately anyways um, go to my Yahoo mail which is my carrier, you type in your cell phone number uh, with the um, area code first at vzwpix.com that's what you type in for Verizon if you want to send it to Verizon um, that's what you type in if you're going to send it to um, a T-Mobile number you type in uh, you type in it says here it's got a one I had him email me with his phone to get this from him so his, it came up with a one so for T-Mobile you may have to add a one the area code the number at t-m-o-m-a-i-l dot net you may need the one in front of that you may not um, it's got the one in front of it on here Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and send this to my phone. And um, use the attach right here. Attach. It's on my desktop. I already know that. Girls Got Rhythm Ringtone is what we're looking for. Right there. Click on it. Click open. See it scanning? It's going to scan it, attach it to the email, and then send it to my phone. There it is. Send. Now if you watch, this is kind of hard to get on video. The video screen's a little messed up. Hold on. Alright, connecting. Oh, you can't really see that. See, ah, there it goes. Connecting. And this is just a little cheap cell phone through Verizon because my good one got broke. Uh, and I didn't have insurance on it, so I did I go out and get this cheapy messages incoming. It says 100% received, but it takes it a second. View now. There's the ringtone. Turn that down a little bit. Okay, you heard the ringtone. Now, on the side, I'm going to hit options. Go all the way down to save sound. You can save it as a ringtone, but if you save it as a sound, you can use it as a ringtone or anything else. Save sound. Now, let's back out of everything. Go to my sounds there it is right there you see this 
On the left hand side, set as ringtone, contact ID, alert tones. I can do whatever I want with it from there. So that's how you do that. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's how you um, create your own ringtone and send it to your phone so that way you don't have to pay for them no more. I hope this helped you out. Later.